Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Daisy, if you guys are new here. I just want to say thank you so much for the love I got on my first video and I wasn't expecting that at all. I just posted it just to post it. I was like, you know what, I don't have nothing to lose. But the amount of support and love I got from that, I was very, very happy and I'm very grateful and I'm very appreciative over the love I got basically. Um, so yeah, I decided to film a video today. I wanted to share my current favorite products I've been obsessing over and I have quite a few. So <laughs> I was going to do an April favorites, but I honestly couldn't wait. Um, I'm very impatient. And you know what? I was just like, let's just do it today. Let's just do it today. So it is going to be a long one. I do have a lot of products. So please go get your hot Cheetos. Go get your munchies. Go get something to snack on. Your michelada, your wine. Um, whatever is your guilty pleasure. And if you guys want to see my favorite products, just keep on watching. Okay. So I'm going to start off with makeup. Um, this is the first item I want to talk about. The Jaclyn Hill morphe palette just look at her she is so so pretty so i actually used this today i used these two shades right here i used creamsicle butter and then i did kind of like a muy bien eyeliner right i used mocha which is this one right here um i've used this palette a couple of times it looks new i know um but one of the things i love about it is that you can create almost any look with this like it has your nudes and then it has your pretty mauves but it also has your hints of colors and then your browns your greens honestly i'm not a makeup guru but this right here you need it you need it another morphe product i've been living for this one i've been raving about this for i want to say like a year now um, and I kind of forgot about it just because we're in quarantine and I nunca me arreglo. Even when I go to work, like, nunca me arreglo. Like, for people that see me at work and then see me in public, they're like, oh my god, that's a totally different bitch. <laughs> but um, I recently rediscovered this in my drawer and I've been obsessed with it. It's the Morphe Continuous sit Sitting setting Mist. Sorry, I can't speak. Sometimes, like, when I used to go out, when the streets were open um i would spray this in the car with my boyfriend and he would get so mad he hates the smell i don't know why it smells it smells fine but like when he gets mad he's like oh my god you're spraying that shit again i'll be like yeah and anyways i love this this makes your makeup stay on all day and it gives you that glow like it doesn't mattify your makeup so if you want something that mattifies your makeup this is not it but it gives you a glow and it smells bomb and it's really refreshing. So I suggest this. I recommend it. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but I love it. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is the Kylie Pressed Blush Powder. This is on the shade Fatty on the Block. Ooh, girl. Ooh. Okay, so Desi Perkins talked about this and she raved about it. And me and her, well, I like to think we're similar skin tones. Watch me be so off and I'm a lot tanner than she is. But I thought we were similar skin tones at the time. So I was like, okay, it looks bomb on her. I'm going to buy it for me. If you guys hear a little clicking sounds, my sister's going ham on Animal Crossing. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry in advance. So it's Batty in the blog. I got this at Ulta. No, wait, was it Ulta? No, I, it was actually her website. She was having like a two for 22 or two for 24 sale on her blushes and her her contour powders i think that's what it was um but this one is really really good i did use it today and honestly you can like build this up like if you want a very subtle tone it goes and if you want like a dramatic like i look sick tone um it goes and if you want to look like doja cat like she did her e-girl makeup tutorial i want to say this is a really really good um dupe to what she uses so yeah this this is this one is bomb i love it okay next product i want to talk about i'm in love with lip gloss i love lip gloss more than liquid lipstick lipstick lip liner like lip gloss is a shit so i really really have been into the smashbox gloss angeles and this is in the shade michelada Ooh, yes i'm gonna swatch it for you because i think i'm a beauty guru now
she's really going ham. I hope she catches me like a butterfly or something. I already catched it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a really pretty orange tone. I'm not wearing it on my lips right now. I'm wearing the Fenty Gloss Bomb. But this one I really love. Like if I'm just going to the grocery store, if I'm going to go hang out with my mans, if I'm going to go to work, like this is just a universal lip gloss. If I want to stunt, like girl, this one's bomb. And it's in the shade Michelada. I don't know if that's going to focus. Probably not. But if I do find it online, I'll link it down below. So moving on to skincare, um, my friend Cassie recommended me this brand and these products and I have been loving them. So the first product I'm going to talk about is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factor. Factors? Yeah. Honestly, it kind of, okay. I really, really love it. Just if you're very sensitive to smells, um, you might not like it because my mom, I let my mom try it and she was like, this smells like a senora. And I'm like, girl, you already are a senora. So it smells like you. Anyways, I'm just kidding, mom. Don't beat my ass. Um, but yeah, this one is really good. It makes my skin really, really soft and it makes me glow. And I really like that. And it was only under $10. I bought this at Sephora.com along with the Ordinary Peeling Solution. This one, I believe, was to... Um, lighten acne scars and i do i do suffer from acne scars from the bottom of my cheeks and like um kind of right here by my eyebrows i have a couple acne scars so i really really wanted to try this out to see if it worked for me and i'm on like week three and i want to say that i have noticed a difference and i really like not the packaging kind, kind of the packaging how what would you call this i really like that's like a droplet to me, that's like super satisfying. Is that just me? But yeah, I do recommend these. Um, if you do have sensitive skin, I feel like these would work for you because I have sensitive skin and they work for me. Also, I have done this on my boyfriend and he has really sensitive skin and he didn't like have any type of crazy reaction. So I do give these a go. These are Daisy approved. Shout out to my girl Cassie for putting me on. Thanks so much moving on to clothes i'm so excited to talk about this oh okay so this was a diy project that um i did a couple days ago i really like how it turned out this was a regular white piece one piece bathing suit um it was boring i've had it in my closet for years and i was like you know what i've seen tie-dye everywhere everyone is selling something tie-dye and i was like you know what if i can recreate it at home I'm gonna do it. So I really loved how this turned out. Um, so yeah, if you guys have a tie dye kit, I suggest you start tie dyeing everything. I'm gonna go tie dye my mom's cortinas, even though she's gonna beat my ass. Um, but I love tie dyeing; it's so fun. Really love how that came out. Um, you guys will see more DIYs soon. Um, just because I felt very crafty when I did it, I was like, okay, I am that bitch. All right, moving on. So this was an outfit I was going to wear to Coachella. It is a cute, very cropped. I love my crops cropped. Um, so there's one thing you know about me. Um, either it's cropped or it's not cropped. This one is cropped. Um, and it does have like a tie here in the middle. So you can really expose your boobs, not expose your boobs, however you want it. The sleeves do have... A stretch to them so you can wear it like this or like that this is from forever 21 but wait there's more it comes with the matching skirt b so i was gonna wear this to coachella and i'm really really sad that it got postponed fuck a bitch named rona and i thought this was gonna be a look but you know what i ended up wearing it to my driveway and i gave my neighbors a show so a show as a runway show don't think nasty don't be nasty really really love this set i'm pretty sure it's still on the site so if i do find it i'll link it down below for you moving on these are so cute okay so my boyfriend did get these for me um i have been wanting some vapor maxes for a long time and the original ones i wanted they were black and pink they had sold out out of my size so he kind of just surprised me with these 
girl these are a look i have been wearing them to go get the mail um to go get a milkshake at farmer boys because let me keep it real with you i crave a milkshake every single night and that is the most toxic trait ever for me so yeah girl los ha estrenado but not where i've been wanting to like i wish i could wear these to disneyland girl i wish i could really cute though 10 out of 10 recommend oh also if you are let's say a seven like me i would size uh, size a half up if that makes sense so i would get like a seven and a half just because these are more on the narrow side and i have white feet um so i did size up and they fit like a glove like i'm walking on clouds that's how they feel they're very comfortable moving on to bags oh she is so pretty look at her oh my god okay so this is my kate spade backpack um you know i'm kind of sad because i won't be wearing this out anytime soon but she's been my favorite i have been rocking her back and forth in my room pretending like i'm eating a turkey leg and a churro and you know pretending like i'm on pirates of the caribbean smelling the water if you like i don't know why but i love how the water smells is that weird that's one of my favorite rides at disneyland though if anyone is wondering um pirates of the caribbean and matterhorn matterhorn is my shit from disney california sorry california adventure it probably has to be incredicoaster i love roller coasters another ride i've learned to love but i used to hate on it i cried on it the very not the very first time but i've always hated that ride but recently like the last time i went i was like okay maybe i do have appreciation for this ride was the guardians of the galaxy um yeah that ride fucking my soul leaves my body and that's just it but i've learned to appreciate it anyways i'm so off topic i'm sorry i can't wait to wear this out so this is just one of my favorites right now in my head i'm imagining me at the happiest place on earth wearing this so yeah we'll we'll be reunited soon okay okay so i love this backpack it is a nike cute little sports backpack i want to say um so i before rona came and fucked everything up i was going to the gym i started going to the gym regularly so my boyfriend is a sweetheart and he got me a gym bag because he knew i didn't have one um, I believe he got this one at Urban Outfitters, so if I can find it, I'll leave a link down below. But I love it because it is small, but you can fit a lot of things on it. And it does have pockets right here, and then it has a front pocket. And I had mentioned this before, I think on my IGTV, but I hate when bags have fake pockets. Like, what the fuck am I going to use this for? Nothing, so why put it there, you know? Um, but I've been really, really loving this bag. I... It's not like I go out, right? But um, before Rona came and fucked everything up, this is a bag I would take to the gym um, to run errands. And it's really cute and really useful. Love the color. Pink is my favorite color, if you were wondering. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. The next products I'm going to be talking about are a category itself. Itself, queen at, or king, whoever's watching this. Um, don't judge me. But if you want to judge me, that's okay. I have color-coded all of my scrunchies. I am a scrunchie hoarder. But I do hoard them nicely, okay? They're all color-coded. And I know where everything is at. The inner Virgo in me is quaking right now. Um, let's talk a little bit about horoscopes. Um, does like Whoever's watching this, do you feel like you're your sign do you believe in astrology do you believe in horoscopes if you don't feel like your sign what do you feel like you are what is your rising what is your moon this could be a whole video itself anyways i'm sorry off topic yeah but i was on tiktok one day and i saw one of the videos they did it was kind of like amazon products you need to buy and some girl posted her pack of scrunchies don't come for me but i forgot how many it was but i believe it's over 50 uh pairs of scrunchies and it was like five bucks i do and i will have the link for you down below 
but yeah i'm obsessed i will show you my favorite scrunchie i just got it um it's i got this at forever 21 it's a tie-dye scrunchie i have a thing for tie-dye my next favorite scrunchie is probably this one girl it's textured and it's cute oh my god there's a hair how embarrassing i shed a lot so i'm sorry um i can go on for days i really love this scrunchie too girl this color this color yeah i have a thing for scrunchies so the next few products are from small businesses um if there's one thing you should know about me is i love supporting small businesses i love seeing everybody's craft i love empowering women i love i just love supporting my girls okay so this first product is from Dani Munoz Fit. She is a personal trainer slash fit queen connoisseur. She's bomb. Her body is wow. Like if you see her, you're like, wow, she is beautiful. And she does sell um, resistance bands, um, like guides, gym guides, um, body guides. But these right here are her resistant bands in i believe the nude collection i'm sorry if i get that wrong but i will link her website down below i know she just sold out of these but she's always releasing new dates for new products so they do come in three different sizes small medium and large so this is a small this is the medium and this is the large and i loved that they're very sturdy i have tried like regular resistant bands like the elastic ones and whenever i did do squats on the regular um they would rise up or if i did some lunges they would rise up but these i did try them out a couple times last week and girl girl um you need them they're sturdy as fuck these will fight thanos these will fight the coronavirus bitch you need these you need these so yeah, shout out to my girl, Vanny. She's bomb. You need to have these in your life. Um, go check her out. Honestly, she is a big inspiration to why I started going to the gym. Um, getting kind of sad now, but um, I really miss the gym. and I really miss working out. So the next product I'm going to be talking about, I was very excited when I ordered this just because, girl, she puts a lot of love in her craft. Um, I am going to put her username down below so you guys can go check her out. But, um, so I have been following this girl for a very long time. And one thing that really intrigued me about what, about her was her craft. Um, uh, besides that she's very, very pretty. She really gets down with her pieces. She paints, she does candles. She does a lot more things. Um, but you can tell that everything is made with love and that's one thing i really appreciate when someone does things not for the money but for the craft um that's what i enjoy most and that's why i love supporting businesses like this so i did get a virgo candle because that's what i am bitch um and they do have these nice cute little pressed dried flowers and then on the back of the candle it has kind of like i don't want to say a mantra of virgo but it really just describes the sign uh for what it is very cute i would love to read it for you but i can't fucking read bitch i'm i will butcher the shit out of this right now anyways i'm not gonna like this because i'm gonna keep this in my room forever but if you guys do want to go check out her um painting her crafts her candles um please do so she did give me a cute little card really love that I will be putting her username down below so you can go check her out. Her name is Alexandria. Girl, thank you so much for this. I really love it. I'm going to be ordering more. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a weighted blanket. Woo. Okay. I believe it's 15 or 25 pounds. But the point is, my mom got it for me at Target and I have been obsessing over it. The first night I brought it home and, you know, I was already like in my PJs. I had already brushed my teeth. I was ready to take my Z's, but I wasn't exactly that tired. I was still going to be on my phone for a little bit more. Once I put this blanket on top of me, I wanted, I'm not exaggerating. Past 10 minutes, I was out. I was out like a light. 
I slept like a baby. Um, there's just something about weighted blankets. I know they do help for anxiety for people who can't sleep. And just if you have trouble getting comfortable at night, I do recommend one of these babies right here. Um, if I do find the link for it, I'm pretty sure I can find a link. I'll link it down below because you need it. Um, it is a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's an investment. And I promise you, it's bomb. It's worth it. It kind of reminds me, you know what it reminds me of? Those blankets that have like the tigres on it, like the big Mexican blankets, but better. Well, the print, obviously. I love cheetah. I'm honestly a fiend for cheetah things. But anyways, you need a girl. Go buy it. Go buy it. The next couple items I'm going to be talking about are more for like organization. You can honestly put anything in here. But I was very shook. My mom FaceTimed me one day and she's like, look what I found at Dollar Tree. Girl. These are super cute. I was going to buy like a bigger one on Amazon for I want to say $12. Girl, $1? You can't beat that. So yeah, I put all of my bigger earrings in here. Like my hoops. I do have another one of these where I put my lashes. Really, really cute. But I have been using this to put my earrings. And then she also did find these little parts right here. They're so cute. Um, as you can see, my room is like pink, gray, white, and black theme. So I wanted obviously to match my room. Um, and this one, I believe I have... My sister leaves love notes for me here. How cute is she? Um, so I have all my small studs and my small hoops. I really love the accent. This is really, really cute. Go on for a dollar. And then this is where I keep like my rings. So yeah, I love how cute they were, um, how detailed they were. And they were honestly really small. They're not going to take a lot of space in my room. And like I said, for a dollar, you can't go wrong with that. Next thing I want to talk about. This is very important. I do this on the daily. Play my game. Um, I really, really, really love Animal Crossing. There she is. Okay, I did get, I just purchased this scooter. And who do I think I am? I think I'm the age. Anyways, I love Animal Crossing. Um, this has been one of my favorite things to play every day because fuck a bitch named Rona. Um, fun fact, my boyfriend got me this game because I guess I was bothering him when he would play Call of Duty. Even though, does anybody else have that problem? Like your boyfriend plays a lot of video games and there's times where you need him to pay attention to you but he's like with the boys trying to fucking get a kill or reach 100 or 125. I don't know. Um, the point is he bought me this game so I would leave him alone when he's playing his game. And it was probably one of the smartest things he's ever done because I didn't text back for two days. I was like, you know what? I'm getting my belts. Do not talk to me. I am catching fish. I learned how to fish. I bought a house. I'm an independent queen. Go get your kills. I bought a house. Anyways, yeah, I love this game. Um, I still don't know how to do a lot of things, but it's okay. We're growing and glowing, baby. Ooh, yes. So the next few items I'm going to be talking about aren't physical objects. They're more um, series on Netflix and movies on Hulu. So I have been into Korean movies lately. Um, I just realized America is whack as fuck and fuck President Trump and Korean movies are where it's at. So I discovered Train to Busan on Netflix. I have never sobbed so hard over a character in my life. Um, I cried more than... What movie made me cry? The Perks of Being a Wallflower made me cry. I cried more than that. Um, I really, really got attached to the characters. Obviously, I don't know Korean, so I had the subtitles on and I was watching it with my man. And he almost shed a tear too. That, that just shows a lot because he doesn't really like to show his emotions. So if he got sad over it, I'm pretty sure you will. Um, but it is more of zombie... Um, a, more of a zombie related movie so if you're not into that maybe you won't like it i'm not really into movies like that but i loved it and um that's all i'm gonna keep it like that you need to go watch it another korean movie that i have been raving over another korean movie i'm pretty sure you've heard about this one parasite everybody talks about it and i was slept on it i was like you know what 
I'm not gonna watch it. And then I watched it and I was like, bitch, what the fuck? What the? The first half of the movie, I was like, okay. It's like a romance movie, you know, kind of more like drama. But then the second half, I was like, this is not no romance movie. This is no drama, bitch. This is fucking horror. Um, but it is like mind blowing. It does mess with you. Um, if you do watch Parasite, let me know how you like it. Let me know what are your thoughts. Let me know who's your favorite character. Um, I think I want to say my favorite character was the sister. Um, I forgot her name. But the sister, she was a bad bitch. Like she honestly was a woman. She knew what she wanted, loved her attitude, even though she died. Rest in peace. Sorry if I'm spoiling it. But she's my favorite character. Anyways, so the next series, back to Netflix, has to be Casa de Papel or Money Heist, as some of you um, may know it as. Okay, I have heard from my coworkers and from my friends that they don't like it, but I love it. I love it. It does have mixed reviews. My parents were watching it the other day and they're like, okay, this is pretty good. But it does take you some time to actually get attached to the show. Um, I know it took me like five episodes in because in the beginning i was like you know what it's not that interesting but it does get better and i have learned to appreciate it for what it is my favorite character in that one has to be nairobi she is a strong powerful willful woman and girl girl she is just beautiful i love nairobi she is just it bitch so that concludes this video thank you so 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 much for watching with me bearing with me um, hearing me ramble i hope you guys liked it let me know what was your favorite product also let me know if you guys have these products or you're gonna order them or you're gonna try them i would love to know because i'm a chismosa um but yeah i hope everyone has a great day today if you guys have any video suggestions or you know you just want to you just want to pop and say hi in the comments please do um thank you so much for watching i hope everyone has a great day today